Good afternoon, staff and students. I'm Antonio. And I'm Erin, and this is your Raider Report. Underclass retakes are October 4th. For anyone who missed picture day, we will be calling you out of either first or third period to have your picture made. Juniors and seniors, remember to turn in your toys for October 17th activities in Ms. Holtz Hall in the atrium. Also, check scholarship and announcement links on the Counseling Department webpage for opportunities such as an expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. and new scholarships. College open house dates are also posted. The Literary Magazine is looking for art and writing submissions. If you have any type of art or writing that you are particularly proud of, please consider submitting to the Lit Mag. Submission guidelines can be found on the bulletin board next to the attendance office or in room 303. All entries are due no later than October 4th. Submit to Ms. Rose in room 303. Saturday, September 29th, the NFHS Choir is having a pancake breakfast in the school cafeteria and a carnival and yard sale in the bus lot. Miss Butel will be making her famous pancakes, and they will be from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the yard sale and carnival will be from 8 to 2. You can buy tickets in advance from the choir students for $5, but tickets will be sold at the door for 6 Come out and support your singing graders. Blood donor sign-ups will be held this week during lunch. Anyone 17 and older can sign up at the table during lunch. 16-year-olds must pick up a parent permission form and get it signed before being added to the list. 16-year-olds must turn their form into Ms. Burris and A81 to be added to the list. Don't delay. There are a limited number of spots, and when they're gone, they're gone. Remember, each pint that is donated has the potential to save three lives. Be a donor, save a life. There will be a German club meeting on Thursday, September 27th at 345 in Trailer 910. Please join us. Are you interested in being part of a student-led organization helping out in the community or being a part of the Relay for Life team? If so, please attend the Key Club meeting on Wednesday, September 26th at 745 in room 914. Anyone interested in learning more is welcome to attend. Tonight during halftime at Raider Valley, one underclassman from each grade level will be crowned princess, and one senior boy and one senior girl will be crowned homecoming king and queen. I feel like that it's such an honor to be one of the people chosen out of all these girls. I'm just really excited. I have had a smile on my face. Some students have previously been nominated to be on the football or basketball homecoming court. Other students, it is their first time being nominated. I have been nominated before. I got nominated last year for sophomore basketball homecoming court, and I got to be on it with one of my best friends, Haley Pruitt, but unfortunately I didn't win. Each nominee has chosen a special person to escort them down the field during halftime tonight. Some of these people have a very special relationship with their escorts. Make sure to be at Raider Valley tonight by 7.30 to watch your Raiders play and support your classmates who are on the 2012 homecoming court. Wednesday, September 26th is a nationwide See You at the Pole event at NFHS. We will be participating along with other high schools all over the country in the student-led morning of prayer and worship. FCA and Y Club co-sponsors invite you to join us on Wednesday, September 26 at 740 at the flagpole by the front office for student speaker Ali Vidito, Music and Prayer. We hope to see you there. Grits, or Girls Raised in the Spirit, is a non-denominational student-led Bible study. Grits meets each Tuesday morning at 745 in Miss Aponte's room, trailer 909. Join us. Thank you to everyone that participated in the homecoming parade. The winners of the parade are Most Spirited, Student Council, Most Original Idea, Chorus, and Best Overall, Freshmen and JV Cheerleaders. Congratulations to you all. Attention Adventure and Environmental Club members. We will meet Tuesday, September 25th in Ms. Curtis's room to plan our adventure trip for October. If you are interested, make sure you attend to vote on the dates. Photography Club update. The afternoon members have decided that to meet every Thursday. You do not have to attend every week. However, this is for students who want to get more time together. This will not affect the mornings. The morning meeting dates remain the same. We will be working on dark art and outdoor photography this month. If you are interested, all are welcome. Our next meeting will be from Thursday, 3.45 to 5 in Ms. Curtis's room. Please congratulate the following students who will be interviewed for the Governor's Honors Program at the county level. Academic, Ashley Amukamara, Science, Mia Austin, Communicative Arts, 
Micah Branch, Social Studies, Emma Browning, Social Studies, Sydney Gage, Science, Cassie Hicks, Social Studies, Josh Martin, Math, Zachary Miller, Social Studies, Brady Ruse, Math, Aaron Strickland, Math, Fine Arts, Nick D'Amico, Sex, Savannah Grant, Voice, Brianna Hayworth, Dance, Macy Swanson, Voice, Hannah Manikowski, Theater, Career Tech, Michaela Harris, AgriScience, Paris Magalanes, Tech. There will be a short meeting after school today in Miss Spirito's room, 877. Chick-fil-A biscuit sales start on Wednesday. Biscuits will be $3. Bring your money and order quickly as there will only be a limited supply. They will be sold at a parent drop-off and at the Raider Cafe. Hello. Hi. Do you want to go to a party with me? No. The game's on. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be right there. We like sports and we don't care who knows. From shooting hoops to the Super Bowl. We like sports and we don't care who knows. Football. Football. Hey everyone, I'm Abby with your sports. Girls Lacrosse will be holding a player parent information meeting on Thursday, October 4th at 7 p.m. in the Media Center. All female students interested in playing this spring should attend. Freshman football won at Chattahoochee High last night, 20 to 12. JV football won at Raider Valley against Chattahoochee, 14 to 0. Both teams are 3-0, having won every game so far this season. It's great to be a Raider. Congratulations to the varsity volleyball team for their 25 to 12, 25 to 17 victory over Precise Central yesterday. The Lady Raiders won in dominating fashion. The JV team is home against West and Alpharetta on Monday at 5 and 7. The varsity team is home against Chattahoochee at 5 and Lambert at 6. Come out and support the teams. Last night, the Lady Raiders took on the Longhorns of Lambert and came out on top by a score of 7 to 3. The team had fantastic synergy overall, and Sydney Turner pitched a really great game. For those of you planning on attending the tailgate, it has been moved to the middle school practice field at 5.30. There will be tents set up with food provided. We're blacking out for the game tonight, so come prepared. Ask Kate Spakus if you have any questions. That's all for your sports. Now back to you. That's all for your Raider Report. Thanks for watching and have a great day.